Hey guys, what's up everybody? I'm Naren. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to download and install MCO Expresso IDE. So MCO Expresso IDE is an NXP based uh, integrated development environment used for uh, application and project development of all the Cortex M series uh, MCUs. Along with that, uh, it supports a wide range of uh, uh, Bluetooth based MCUs that NXP manufacturers, all the Freedom Tower boards, IMX RT series EV case, and all the LPC uh, Expresso compatible EV case. So, to download and install MCU Expresso, you need to have a login ID in nxp.com. So, make sure you create one before you plan to download and install MCU Expresso. So you open nxp.com and search for MCU Express IDE. Uh, so it will take you to all the search results. So click on MCU Expresso Integrated Development Environment link, which is the top one. It will take to a page where it uh, provides all the features overviews of MCU Expresso. So uh, we're going to talk about all the features that MCU Expresso has in a lineup of series of uh, videos that I'm going to post uh, one by one in time to come. But in this video, we'll just talk about the overview of what MCU Expresso is and what is the advantages of having it, how to download the uh, latest version, how to download the previous version and how to install it. So all the other details about usage features, what and when to use a feature, how to enable a widget, how to enable a window, how to disable and all, all the other things we'll talk in the videos to come. So what MCU Expresso is, is a Eclipse based IDE uh, from NXP. So it is used for ARM Cortex M series cores uh, and few Bluetooth uh, MCU, Bluetooth based uh, MCUs from NXP. So you can uh, use either open, open SDAP, micro or Sega J link along with MCU Expresso to flash in the MCUs and also debug along with that. So uh, you can click on documentation uh, and you'll find a lot of uh, user guides, quick starter guides on how to uh, use MCU Expresso. Uh, I recommend you to go through these uh, documents because they'll provide a real good quick kickstart uh, for your development to start in a rapid way. Along with that, uh, we have lots of development tools that uh, MCU Expresso supports. So if you can see the list of 43 evaluation and development boards that are compatible with MCU Expresso. So I hope you understand the capability. Uh, of this tool as a whole. So uh, you have a K, a K series or IMX series or all the Freedom uh, series or most of the LPC Expresso based uh, boards that are compatible with MCO Expresso. So to download, click on download and you can always download the latest version, previous version and always update and patch the latest version, current version. So when you click on download, uh, a page something like this is going to uh, open. So you, if you can see the version number, uh, the current uh, latest uh, version is 11.2.0. So to download this version, click on this link and it will take you to a page like this wherein you can select from uh, various uh, downloads packages. Uh, so I, mine is Windows, so I have uh, gone with this. So click on this and it will start uh, downloading the exe. So once the exe is downloaded, uh, you can always double click on this and uh, it's a self explanatory uh, to install uh, the MCU Expresso. So I have already done it, but I want to show you if if you want to uh, install the previous version. So you need to toggle it from current to previous. So you'll get a list of all the previous versions. Uh, so the advantage of having this in your mind of how to uh, find and download a previous version of a particular IDE is currently uh, your project might be uh, developed in certain version of IDE and uh, there might be update in 
uh, the IDE and your code or your data might not be compatible with the latest updated version. So it's always good to have a previous versions repository so that you can use it for that particular project until it has uh, come into SOP state. Uh, so uh, make sure you remember this uh, version number of what version you are using for your application development or the project development uh, on a whole. And so I have already installed, uh, clicked on this and uh, uh, agreed for all the uh, requests. So uh, one thing I would like to tell is along with the MCU Expresso, a uh, few drivers like P, Micro, JTAG and Sega JLink will also be downloaded, which will be helpful for uh, detection of all the universal JTAG and Sega JLinks uh, on your laptop or PC. So I hope uh, this video makes sense and you find it useful. Please uh, like, share and uh, subscribe. Please comment your feedback. Uh, I, I, like I said, there will be a whole uh, bunch of videos explaining all the basic, basic features and to high level features of MCA Expresso. So uh, I wanted to make uh, this because I had moved from Keel or IR to Eclipse based IDE and I don't want any of you to face the difficulties or the time that takes in understanding the uh, tool as a whole. So I hope I would, I will add some value with all the videos to come. Please uh, stay tuned, like, share and subscribe, support me for uh, making a useful content like these. Thank you. Thanks for all the support.